Thank you so much for participating in this webinar. The Young Educator Society of Rhode Island is thrilled to offer you one hour professional learning credit for participating in this webinar. We've, as you've seen, you've been through a couple different activities, so we've been tracking that to make sure that when you follow the information below and you get your professional learning certificate that you've achieved that amount of time learning about this topic with us. We've linked a couple of resources at the bottom of this page that we think will be super helpful for you. So the first, obviously, is Brene Brown's Daring Classrooms Hub. There's a couple modules in there that will show you how to work through the tenets of creative leadership and really how to input those skills into your practice at any age group or content level. Then we have a couple of resources specifically about the Daring, uh, the Daring Greatly and the Creative Leadership books that Brene Brown has written, if you're interested in, those re in that research a little bit more. We have the Dare to Lead Brene Brown website, which has all the resources from the book that you've gotten. Thank you again, National Education Association of Rhode Island, for the generous grant to allow us to provide our members with some books. Um, so also some great videos to watch. So the TED Talk, Dare to Lead, or the Power of Vulnerability, is what really launched Brene Brown's research into a wider platform. There's also a Dare to Lead video from Global um, a global read-along on LinkedIn that we've linked at the bottom. And if you have Netflix, the Netflix special is an absolutely amazing listen for really any human on the planet, and not just a teacher. We've also linked a couple of resources if you're interested in diving a little bit more into the education side of these things. So we've linked the um, Castle Social Emotional Learning website, and that has a ton of resources on how to infuse your classroom with social emotional learning techniques and really make that a great space for your students and yourself. Uh, we've also linked the YesRI blog, where we talked a little bit about that supporting teachers piece, the power of mentoring and collaboration. It goes in a little more depth to that collaboration piece. So if you're looking and struggling for a way to, to find that community of support for yourself, the blog is a great place to check that out, along with our social media hubs. So just to reiterate, um, the definition of courageous leadership um, is that it involves trust, vulnerability, bravery, and love. Um, and what it means to be a courageous leader is that you take all of those things and you make actions out of them. Um, and in a classroom, that is what's so important is being able to see those things and harness those feelings and, and take action to help your students. Brene Brown has um, another quote that is not directly affiliated with Dare to Lead where um, she talks about bravery and fear existing together. And I believe that that's where right in, right in the middle, right in the thick of all of that is where so many courageous leaders live um, because all the time you know they may be fearful about some new project they're going to do or an initiative they're going to try to start or a conversation even that they have to have but they're going to go on anyway and in k-12 classrooms that's what students need to see they they need to see their teachers you know do that for each other and, and do that for them so then they can model that behavior you know with their classmates and then eventually you know with their colleagues with their families um, you know etc cetera, etc cetera, as as they move on um, in their lives. So again, I would just like to thank all of you um, for being here and, and really suggest um, diving into the resources on Brene Brown's website um, for more information on how you can be a courageous leader in your life and in your classroom. And make sure you follow all the SRI hubs that are going to be linked below for social media, as well as Audra's because she's been doing some really great Instagram work diving into this practice a little bit more in depth. So thank you again so much, Audra. Oh, thanks, Erin. I'm so glad to be here.